that, I began to realise that it wasn't really about the bike. I kept seeing and hearing a simple but powerful message. It's okay not to feel okay. And it's absolutely okay to ask for help. Speak out and not be afraid of the emotional beings that we all are. Thank you very much. We've all experienced pain at some time in our life. And we know that we will experience pain again at some future point in our life. It's part, it's part of being a human being. Take back control of your mind. Take back control of your life. Because the opposite of depression is expression. Stand up. Stand up. That's why you're feeling so great and wonderful when you're out in that bike. Because you're moving and you're talking and you're expressing. Before you run your mind, <laughs> spit my name and spit on my face. Yes. I'm tired of your childish game. Six and stones can build a house. So thanks to you, I have a mansion now. <laughs> I'm retired from your world of hate And stepped out from your shadow of shame You should know you don't bother me anymore You should know I'm much stronger for 24 years now and this is a very important thing for me and I'm more than happy to be helping out uh, for the next year so I'll see you guys around at many different events. I thought about my cousin, I thought about how my family were still devastated 20 years later at having lost him when nobody had any control over it and here was me making a decision personally for selfish reasons to put my pain and hurt onto my family, my friends, my colleagues. And 16 months later, 27 countries, 44 flat tires, three crashes, three robberies, I became the first and only person to finish the race. And in so doing, actually end up winning the world cycle. And so I was 99% of the way I needed to get to. I just didn't know how far more I had to go. But I suppose the lesson I took from that was that you can always get there if you just keep going in the right direction and it's all about baby steps. I want to talk about the after effects that a suicidal death has on families. It's like a tsunami, it, it wrecks lives. And if you think that by ending your life, um, that you're ending the pain, you're not. You're passing that pain on to everybody that you leave behind. Um, but basically, there's help out there and all you have to do is ask for that help. And it's a massive step to ask for that help. And you did those first two weeks. Yeah. At the end of that week, what did I, you say to me? I, you said, hello. I'm Monica the Cyclist. Yeah. <laughs> Through friends and this journey and other people's inspirations, I've realized that I am meant to be here and I am okay. Wear your suede shoes in the rain. Don't lose yourself to find something. Don't leave your heart where you would leave your soul. Don't wait to cycle to your soul. They'll slow you down. Don't 
Ah. Uh... 